Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Alright, we have successfully watched the first episode and now we're going to go on to uh, episode 2 and 3. Super, super excited. So when the last episode came out, I've had a look at the comments and stuff like that. It turns out I was right. It was my boy Yuri who does voice Sasuke Uchiha. Apparently he wasn't in volume 2, like that wasn't the same voice actor in volume 2. Which is what threw me so much, because I've always thought Yuri, he has a very distinct voice as Sasuke, and obviously he voices a bunch of other characters as well. But I've watched Naruto enough times now where I can catch his voice. It's like hearing Johnny Bosch who voices Ichigo or Nero in Devil May Cry. They have a very distinct voice to me, so if I hear them, I'll, I'll hear them a mile away. So yeah, it was him, which was bothering me so much, but... Moving on from that, <laughs> let's just get straight into the episode. So we've got, like I said, we've got chapter 2 and chapter 3. And uh, apparently this whole arc, or this whole chapter volume, is just about the the vital festival. Which I'm super happy, I'm super glad for. Because I hate when there's too much going on at once. Side note, it's why I, I, I couldn't watch Game of Thrones. It's too many, I, I need a central character or characters. I, I, I can't be dealing with... 12 different storylines all all joining together it, it, it messes with my head but yeah so i'm glad about that and yeah let's just get into it okay, so here we go chapter two can't wait let's go i hope i just get to see a whole bunch of fighting that's that's what i'm looking forward to the most Of course, Pira takes absolutely zero damage. Why would she, you know? Oops, sniper! <laughs> well, they're not even looking and yet still managing to defend themselves. Hilarious. The guy's just casually got knuckle dusters. Don't know how that works as a gun, but we'll see. Ow! I've said it once before and I'll say it again. These guys are lucky that they have aura. Because uh, that, that cannot feel good. Oh, yes. So being Thor, yeah, yeah, being based off of Thor makes sense. Thunder just doesn't affect that, that's so cool. Ooh, I thought that was right at the crotch. You're damn straight. Is there like a limit on how much electricity or thunder she can absorb before, you know, she just... Stops functioning. <laughs> Come on, Jean. I want to see Jean do something cool. I'm three volumes in, and the guy hasn't done too much. Oh, hell yeah. Using them as a human shield. Hell yeah. <laughs> what timing on that. Is <laughs> it that one time where Saitama went to go punch Genos and he just says death? That's what she just saw there. Oh, she's still alive. I mean, she's got that going for her, I guess. This is it, guys. Let's finish them with team attacks. Ren, Nora, Flower Power. Wait, what? F flower Power. 
attack name? Since when? Guys, we went over this. Flower powers Ren and Nora. Ren brings the flower, Nora brings the power. How do I bring a flower? No, silly, not a flower. Flower, like in banking. Why would I bring that? <laughs> no, it's your symbol. <laughs> so what are we? Pira? Sorry, I just want to make sure it's clearly defined. Pira, you and I are Argos. It's the thing where we take our shields, remember? Oh, right. So yeah, they're just listing off their, um, their ships right now. Right. I mean, it's not exactly the best time to have a casual conversation in the middle of a duel, but. Hey! Huh? What do you think you're doing? Trying to have a team meeting. Thank you very little. Yeah. <laughs> we're in the middle of a fight, and we're in the middle of a conversation. What don't you get about that? Um, John. <laughs> yes, Pira. I think he means that we're all in the middle of a fight. <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. Wait, what? Oh my good god. Oh, that is rough. Can someone go make sure they're okay? Yeah, can someone make sure they're alive? Because, uh... Ouch. Who is that? Is that Ren's brother? Ah, well, I don't recall ever seeing that guy. After that one, but this next round will have them on the edge of their seats. Team Indigo of Shade is certainly a crowd favorite, but these lovely ladies are going against some of the toughest testosterone-filled teammates we've seen so far. I'm of course talking about coffee. Team Sun. Oh, son. Oh, I get to see the rest of them. Awesome. Just a picture of his abs. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I this is the first time I'm actually seeing them. I've seen them in the background, but uh, that's about it. Ladies. Hello, ladies. Come on. Bring <laughs> Come on, you should know by now he's a womanizer. Right, girls. Try and remember. Hands above the waist. Ignore him. For he... Yeah, he's dumb. Yeah, you think? Ooh, what's that? Like a desert? Cabin area, maybe? <laughs> All right, home field advantage. <laughs> Don't get too cocky. That's my surf, too. I hope I don't get sand in my shoes. Be cool, man. Hey, it's the ocean! Huh? <laughs> uh, what's wrong with Neptune? Do not tell me this guy is afraid of the ocean. Or just can't swim. Oh my good god. Oh no. <laughs> Neptune's... Afraid of the water. I knew it. Three, two, you. One. Oh my Begin. good God! Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of a good strategy, I guess. In all fairness, I also have the lassophobia. I hate the ocean. So I get where he's coming from. I get where he's coming from. It's just quite ironic. Oh, that guy has a clock on his sword. Does his semblance have something to do with time or something, maybe? Is he based on like a Roman person? God, maybe? I don't know. He's got Roman numerals on his neck and what have you, so. And he is immediately out. Didn't even get to see what his semblance was. Neptune. Oh. 
I absolutely love his weapon though. I think Sun is well, definitely the best character there. In his team, I mean, not, not in general. I can fly! <laughs> Looks like a pirate. You know think? Even looks like he has like a scimitar as well. Oh, okay. That explains how her weapon works. Ouch. <laughs> that was so elegant. <laughs> Woo! Come on. <laughs> I know they're supposed to be like coconuts, but they're... <laughs> they're co oh. Yeah, that's instant nuts. down. Nuts. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> I know you're afraid of water, but you know there, I helped. Are you happy now? I mean not really. I am not afraid of water, and I have no idea what you are talking about. She's got like a trident as well. Does she got something to do with water too? Like Poseidon, okay, maybe? Fine. <laughs> oh man. Jake, yeah, come on. Did you not clearly see the electricity coming from the edge of a spear? I love the dance. Shocking? No. Well earned. Wait. Shocking? No. Shocking. Oh god, I was talking. I thought you said sucking. I was like, whoa. Now that was a match. Took a turn. That was a mess. Come on, man. You didn't like them? The Bale Kids? Or any of the rounds before that? What fight are you here for? He kind of reminds me of a uh, Grey Fullbuster. His design. Happy Vital Festival. Oh, gee darn it. <laughs> That's such a completely random thing to animate. Looks like the dorks made it to the next round. <laughs> Emphasis on dork. Say, so, yeah, I like him. He's not afraid to be himself, you know. Oh, is this the Schnee family? Are they come to say hello? She's here. She oh, oh! Don't ask me what that noise was. Ooh, is that a sister? What was she called? Winter? <gasps> right. Next episode. I'm hoping that we're eventually going to meet Winter. I'm fairly certain you meet her on this um on this volume because when I was skipping the intro in, uh, I, I saw, like, a, I don't know if it was her, but it looked suspiciously a lot like Weiss in, let's face it, in any anime or animation, you want to figure out someone's related, just make an older carbon copy of them. That is how you figure it out. It's like, spoiler alert for Naruto, it's like when you say Minato, and you're like, <laughs> the dude looks like an older version of Naruto, he's got the spiky blonde hair. I know they try to advert it by Jiraiya going, the only thing that you two share in common is the fact that you both have spiky blonde hair. But come on. Come on. I didn't have to wait, what, nearly 400 episodes to figure that one out. Weiss, what is the big deal? Who is it? Who is she? Winter. It is Winter. 
<laughs> Your sister? Jotaro. Oh, hello. She seems incredibly stuck up. Winter, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, your presence honors us. <laughs> Beacon, it's been a long time. The air feels different. I mean, it is fall, so yeah, it's probably colder. <laughs> so, well, classified. Oh, right. Well, how long are you staying? Classified. Personality wise. Not my type. She sounds like a massive douchebag. Oh, this is nice. I think. <laughs> You're going to love it here. I know you travel a lot, but so much of Beacon is different from Atlas. Vale, too. The government and school are completely separate. Can you believe it? I I'm more than familiar with how this kingdom handles its bureaucracy. That is not why I came. Right. I'm sorry. Nor did I come here to watch my That's own what she death said. so miserably in battle. But it appears I have no choice. In that wasn't funny. Only a novice would refer to that as a victory. I counted at least three strikes missed. Good God damn it, Winter. You're already making me not like you. <laughs> Leave us. <laughs> Takes like three steps back. Oh, splendid. Thank you for asking. I'm actually in the very top ranking of our sparring class. The rest of my studies are going wonderfully too. I'm... Silence, you boob. I didn't <laughs> ask about ranking. I asked how you've been. Are you eating properly? You just call her a boob. Hobbies. Are you making new friends? All right. Well, there's Ruby. <clears throat> boob. Boob. <laughs> I see you. So this is the leader you wrote of. <gasps> Appropriately. Underwhelming. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Ruby Rose. I wish to thank you for taking an interest in my sister. You're you're yes, welcome. I think. The honor is in my court. <laughs> <laughs> I have business Elegant. with the general and your headmaster. But seeing as I'm early, why don't you take me to your quarters? Really? Yeah. Is she got a rapier as well? Inspect them and make sure they are up to my personal standards. Of course. Just so you're aware, the bunk beds only look unstable. Bunk beds? Yes, you remember the ones that you didn't get as children. Reconvene with you both at a later juncture. <laughs> at a juncture, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love Ruby. <laughs> How old is Winter? Like compared to Weiss. Oh, is that that guy? Yeah. yeah, of course it is. I'm talking to you, Ice Queen. Halt! Excuse me. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Shh, shh, shh. Not you. Hey. The other one. You're in love, aren't you? That's what it is. Gotti ship of yours in town. I guess you're here too. I'm standing right before you. So well, it the, would seem. the guy has you had many, many a whiskey. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. See, I mistook this for some sort of sentient garbage. I don't have time for your immature games, Crow. Wait, you two know each other? Oh! Oh, I did not see that one coming. He was not what I expected. <laughs> All right. Jeez, you Atlas specialists think you're so special, don't you? It's in the title. Well, you know what you really are? A bunch of sellouts. Maybe the red cape Just like your should boss. have given it away. I, I don't know. Think you're implying, but I've heard enough. Oh, I heard too. I heard old Ironwood finally turned his back on Ospin. Ospin? Weiss, it's time for you to go. What? Listen to big sister, Weiss. She'll protect you. 
Just like Atlas is gonna protect all of us, huh? If you won't hold your tongue, then I will gladly remove it for you. Oh, she doesn't have a rapier. That looks more like a freaking katana. Come take it. Oh, god damn, she's quick. Daddy. Oh, he's so cool. Oh my god. I knew he was going to be powerful. Yeah, I can just tell he's one of those characters that, like, you know, seems like he would be weak because he's just chill as fuck. He's like Kisuke from Bleach. Uncle Crow? Yeah, you better fucking run. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is his semblance is what I want to know. Because he seems like a tank. Alright, so Winter just has chakra control then, just being able to run at walls. That's 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 cool. It's cool. I like that. Oh she has dual wield! So this is what high level uh, combat is like in this show. I like it. I don't think I've ever really seen two like strong people go against each other. Turn like a whip? No. No, he's you know, you're gonna see it. <laughs> Who's that? Os oh. General Ironwood, sir. What in the world do you think you're doing? He started the altercation, sir. That's actually not true. She attacked first. Is that right? Uh, uh... She can't even deny it either. Because technically she did. Even though, you know, he kind of... And you. He confronted her, but... <laughs> what are you doing here? I could be asking you the same thing. I... Now, now, everyone. Oh... There is a sanction fight happening just around the corner at the Coliseum that I can assure you has better seats and popcorn. Break it up, everyone. <laughs> we will take care of this mess. Let's go. Penny! Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> A word, please. I think I'm in trouble. You did kind of tear up our courtyard. Yeah, I did. Catch you later, kid. Oh, I love him. And suddenly, your recklessness makes sense. Yeah, I was going to say, you could just tell where they get their personalities from. <laughs> that was a draw at best. If you were one of my men, I would have you shot. 
If I was one of your men, I'd shoot myself. Well, I think <laughs> retaliating like you did. Quick with the quips. He was drunk. He's always drunk. Glinda, why are you why are you standing like Ironwood? Like, <laughs> no. Uh, this is water. Why are you here? You've been out of contact for weeks. You can't just go dark like that in the field. I'm not one of your special operatives, Jimmy. General. Whatever. You sent me to get intel on our enemy, and I'm telling you, our enemy is here. We know. Oh. Oh, you know. Well, thank goodness I'm out there risking my life to keep you all informed. Crow communication's a two-way street, pal. You see this? That's the send button. They have reason to assume you'd been compromised. <laughs> and I have reason to assume you don't need to be here. Seriously, who invited her? Schnee will discuss this incident back on my ship. But, sir... Winter, leave. <sighs> yes, sir. Asshole. <laughs> He may be my new favorite character. Your little infiltrator isn't just another pawn. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. Autumn? What? Despite what the world thinks, we're not just teachers or generals or headmasters. The people in this room, the leaders of the other two academies, we're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James, when you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet, or did you just not give a damn? Ooh. Discreet wasn't working. I'm here because Who's this Autumn? is what was necessary. You're here because Ozpin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And I am grateful. Oh, well, you've got a real funny way of showing it. The people of Vale needed someone to protect them. Someone who would act. When they look to the sky and see my fleet, they feel safe. And our enemies will feel our strength. <laughs> you, you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made. And let me tell you. She they are fear. And Cinder? here we'll bring oh. the grim. A guardian this is this autumn of person? I don't know who that is. An army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now. A question in the back of everyone's minds. If this is the size of our defenses, what is it we're expecting to fight? Hmm. So goddamn wise. So then, whoa, 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 what was that? So then. What would you suggest we do? I suggest. I can't tell what that means. Is this sure. just because she, Bad you know, infiltrated the stuff? Like dad after a long day. Sasuke. What do we do? Or is he secretly on their Nothing. side? Mm. Stay the course. They have no idea who we are. We Shallow and pedantic. I'm probably thinking too much into it. It's probably just because of Jishi. The heavy lifting is being taken care of. Infiltrated it. Thanks to our clever little friend. Uh, speaking of which, it appears we have a new access point. Anywhere good? Okay, you okay. Can say that. Maybe. Go to your rooms. I'll prepare everything for tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Clearly, I was just thinking way too much into it. Let's give the crowd a good fight. So she's hacking into them. The randomization process is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, your double tournament lineup. Okay, so Team Coco versus Emerald and Mercury. 
I mean, you know, Coco and um, Yatsuhashi. I have no idea what he's based on. But have I been told already? Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> Alright, people. We are three episodes into Volume 3, and it is by far my favourite episode, uh, my favourite volume. It's interesting. It's adding more people that I've heard of but not seen. Crow may be my favourite character now. That dude is freaking epic. He gives a he gives me serious like Kisuke Urahara vibes from from Bleach or like Jiraiya or something. You know, like someone who's like everyone thinks he's weak because he's just so chill and nonchalant, but he's actually super freaking powerful. He's given me off those vibes so goddamn hard. There was so much going on there. Yeah, that 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 bit at the end where the, where the little queen piece came on, I, I thought that was like him. He was like secretly on their side or something like that. But no, I think that's just because obviously she hacked into the system, and uh, you know that whole thing went on. So maybe I was just thinking a little bit too much into it. But I am curious as to why she's put Emerald and Mercury against Coco in. The, the other dude, I, I can't remember his name. It's like a Japanese name, so I'm terrible with those kind of names. Yatsu something or another. <sighs> Man, I'm not going to lie. I, did, I was not expecting to meet Crow on this episode, and I was not expecting him to be the way he is. But it it makes so much sense. Seeing the way Ruby is, and then seeing the way he is, makes so much sense. Even though I know Ruby's not actually his like niece, like not actually related because he's Yang's uncle. Obviously, he must have just brought her up, so he's all, she's called him uncle. Man, that was crazy. Oh, epic. Hell yeah. I absolutely love that. So, uh... I may just watch the next episode straight away. I'm not sure. It's so tempting. But, uh, um... Crow's voice sounded so familiar as well. Is that, a, like, a famous voice actor or two, or... If it is, let me know. I don't want to know who it is, because I want to try and figure it out. But is he a famous voice actor? Because I swear I've heard his voice somewhere before. Oh, I can't remember who it is. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, as always, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share this video if you want to share this video. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much going to be it. This this episode, is, well, these two episodes have freaking blown my mind. Can't wait to watch more, though. I want to see what this next fight is. I hope you guys are excited for it, too. I hope you all have a great day. It's getting close to Christmas, so I hope you guys aren't stressing too much about money. Unless, of course, you're too young to do that, in which case, you are so goddamn lucky. Because I am not. <laughs> Alright, guys. I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.